I am very pleased to present the Tribute of Hope Award to the Collegium Ramazzini for its tireless work in recognizing, publicizing, and preventing occupational illness and disease, and thus giving workers worldwide reason to hope. It's a very fitting award. If Dr. Landrigan were here, he would be accepting because he serves as the president of the Collegium, an organization that was co-founded, in fact, by Dr. Selikoff, and as you heard today, has put out some 18 statements, many of them related to asbestos. As a member of the Collegium myself since 1983, I accept on behalf of the Collegium and want to share a fact with you. As you heard from Christine this morning when she was talking about the Collegium, there are only in the world 180 fellows. People ask, how did that number come about? And when Dr. Selikoff and Professor Cesare Maltoni were uh, organizing the Collegium uh, in the very early 1980s, they decided at that time the College of Cardinals in Rome had 180 members. <laughs> and so it seemed fitting somehow to limit the Collegium to its 180 <laughs> members. That said, you may not realize that in this room, there have been today with us five members, a very considerable number of the Collegium. And, I, and they're all going to come up, but I want to recognize Dr. Castleman, Dr. Fernanda Giannassi, Celeste Monforton, Celeste, Christine, and myself. So you have with you today a very considerable number of the 180 in one room at one time. So uh, on behalf of the Collegium, uh, it gives me a great pleasure and honor to accept and to share this with my colleagues and with the whole Collegium. <laughs> Eighteen.